Hello friends, welcome to YK360 YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Saudi driving license theory test computer exam scenario questions. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification regularly. In this video, we are going to cover two units from Murur handbook, third unit and the fourth unit. Unit 3 is traffic and the fourth unit is crossings. We will elaborately discuss about all the scenarios which is mentioned in the Murur handbook. It will be helpful for you in both the exam and for your lifetime while you are driving the car. You must know all these scenarios so that you can drive your car with full confidence without any fear. This video is in three different languages English, Tamil and Hindi. I prefer our subscriber to go for English language in computer exam. If you don't know English language, then no problem. You can go for your native languages. So, in the Murur handbook, we have six units as mentioned in the screen. You can see introduction, traffic violations, behavior, traffic, crossings, driving speed, and uh, transcendence, general behavior. Every unit you can expect around five to six questions so in the third unit and fourth unit almost we will get around 8 to 12 questions from this topic so watch throughout the videos one or two times and clearly make note of it so if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel click the bell icon we have a series of videos for the saudi arabia driving license computer exam and practical exam how to take the upshare appointment what are all the steps we need to follow in the murur in the driving school how to take the package how to get the lowest package 690 real package what are all the packages are there we have discussed all these topics in our youtube channel and you can check all these videos in our playlist saudi driving license okay now let's move on to the video okay now let's see the first scenario Priority of the vehicle closest to the intersection If two vehicle approaches an intersection equally but not at the same time The vehicle closest to the intersection has the right of priority In this photo you can see two vehicle Vehicle A red color and the vehicle B white color are approaching the intersection junction and In this scenario the white vehicle has the priority more than the red vehicle because it is more closest to the junction this is the first scenario you understand this scenario in the junction which vehicle is closest to the junction it has the highest priority okay now let's check some examples uh, related to this scenario a uh, white car is moving on the main road and a red car B is intersecting uh, to the main road in this case which car has the higher priority in this scenario which car has the higher priority I think you already guessed the answer the car that is moving on the main road has the highest priority the car which is coming from the intersection need to stop for the vehicle moving on the main road so in this scenario the white car is going to right on the from the main road it is going to right so the white car has the priority than the red car so the red car need to wait until the white car move and then it can join the main road okay now we will check the second scenario right before left rule if two vehicle approach an equal intersection at the same time the vehicle on the right side has the right of way in this photo you can see two vehicles are approaching the junction one is vehicle a white color and the other is vehicle b red color now they are at the equal distance uh, to the junction before we checked at the different uh, distance now they are the equal distance to the junction in this case who has the priority 
who has a priority to cross the junction first if like that the vehicle at the right side has the priority the vehicle at the right side means which vehicle is right side to other so the white vehicle has the priority of crossing the junction first because the white vehicle is in the right side of the red vehicle so the red vehicle need to wait until the white vehicle crosses the junction okay now let's see some example for the scenario 2 now we can see two vehicle vehicle a white color and the gray vehicle uh, now you guess which vehicle has the higher priority answer is the black color vehicle which is the right side of the white color vehicle has the highest priority the vehicle in the right side has the highest priority we will check another one example okay. for the scenario 2 so that you can understand easily same two vehicles are uh, coming for the junction the black color and white color and the black color has indicator to go right side now which vehicle has the highest priority means the white vehicle going straight and the red uh, black vehicle is going right even though the red uh, black vehicle put the indicator for right it has the highest priority because it is in the right hand side so the vehicle in the right hand side of the other vehicle have the highest priority it doesn't matter where it hits where it goes okay we'll check another one example for the same now the black vehicle is put left indicator and it's moving to left here also the black vehicle has the priority than the white vehicle because it is in the right side of the white vehicle so we have check three or four example for this hope you have understand we will check the next scenario the next scenario is driving forward vehicle driving in a straight line have priority over vehicle changing lanes in this photo you can see two vehicles are uh, traveling in the straight line the white vehicle is going straight and the red car is they put the left indicator in this case the white vehicle has the highest priority than the red vehicle because the red vehicle put the indicator to go left so it need to wait until the white vehicle crosses the junction and then it has to go left hope you might have understand we will check the next scenario before checking the next scenario i have a small request for our uh, subscribers subscribers you are watching this video kindly please support us uh, we are not expecting any money from you just subscribe our channel like our channel and one more request if there is any advertisement running in our video please click the advertisement and go to the page and check the page you no need to buy or uh, pay anything just check the advertisement so that the youtube can pay us a little i am preparing this videos to help our friends in saudi arabia who are struggling to get license i am preparing this videos without any profit just to support our friends in saudi arabia who are struggling to get license and if you want to support me please click on the ads showing on the videos and go to the site and just view the site it's enough the youtube will pay a little for me and uh, okay now let's check the scenario 4 parallel movement for the vehicle traveling in the parallel line a driver traveling in the straight line has priority over the driver wishing to change the direction in this photo you can see a red vehicle and a white vehicle the white vehicle is going straight and the red vehicle need to turn right in this case the white vehicle which is going straight has the priority over the red vehicle because the white vehicle is going straight and uh, it will go straight without minimizing the speed or anything so the vehicle which is going straight has the highest priority the red vehicle need to wait until the white vehicle crosses the uh turning and then the red vehicle need to turn right hope you have understand we will check the next scenario fifth scenario driving forward parallel movement 
in this scenario you can see there are three vehicles red black and white the red vehicle put the indicator to go left and the other two vehicles are moving straight in this case the white vehicle have the priority over the red vehicle because the white vehicle is going the straight so the vehicle which is going straight have the higher priority than the other vehicle which is changing the lanes so the white vehicle has the higher priority once the white vehicle crosses the red vehicle and it move forward the then the red vehicle can move left lane okay now we will check the next scenario driving forward close to road in this scenario you can see there are two vehicles red and white traveling in the straight the path before the red vehicle is partially closed the road is damaged and the area is barricaded in this case which vehicle has the priority the vehicle white has the priority because its road is open and it doesn't have any barricade or anything so the vehicle which has the open road has the priority so the vehicle white can move then after the red vehicle can change the lane and come to the left lane okay okay let's check the next scenario highway you can see there are two vehicle the white vehicle is going on the highway and the red vehicle is approaching the highway from the secondary road in this scenario which vehicle has the highest priority we have already seen the same example before the vehicle which is going on the highway have the highest priority so the red vehicle need to wait until the white vehicle crosses the t junction and then the red vehicle need to enter the junction hope you have understand okay now let's check the eighth scenario the main path correct cooperative behavior this scenario is same like the seventh scenario which we checked before here also the vehicle which is going in the main road has the highest priority the white vehicle have the higher priority but the driver white vehicles driver giving an opportunity for the red vehicle driver to enter the main road this kind of activity is called as cooperative behavior you might expect one question from this in the exam so please make note of it the next scenario is scenario 8 the highway you can see there are two vehicles white and the red the white vehicle is going from the highway to the service road in this scenario the white vehicle which is traveling from the highway to the service road have the higher priority traffic priority is given to the vehicles leaving the highway to the service road when coming from the highway the driver of the white vehicle b has the right of way over the red vehicle a next scenario is also the same the when the vehicle is approaching from the main road to the service road the other vehicle on the service road need to open way for the vehicle coming from the main road this is a cooperative behavior so the red vehicle need to give way for the white vehicle which is coming from the main road this is called the cooperative behavior next scenario is number 10 it's about the roundabout intersection now you can see in the photo there are two cars approaching the roundabout one car is already in the roundabout and the other car is going to in the enter the roundabout in this situation the car which is already inside the roundabout has the highest priority than the car entering the roundabout so in this case the white car is already inside the roundabout so the white car have the higher priority than the red car the red car need to wait until the white car drive away inside the roundabout 
driver approaching any intersection that forms a roundabout must give way to vehicle traveling around the roundabout the white vehicle is driving in a roundabout so the driver of the white vehicle b has the priority over the red vehicle a we have successfully seen 10 scenarios which are mentioned in the muru training handbook in the part 1 video we have the part 2 video which have the other scenario questions thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed the video if you like the video please like subscribe our channel and if you have any doubts comment in the comment section we will reply soon also we have a telegram channel you can join our channel we have hundreds of people connected in the channel you if you have any questions you can ask the channel they will help you also you can download the question answer pdf and murur handbook everything in the channel thank you for watching this video have a great day